Hello, everyone. This is Professor Jeff Wilkerson at Luther College uh, with another one in our series of videos on how to use Kaleidograph to make graphs that are, are useful and, and interesting for us. So uh, what you see here is a plot of position versus time for some object that we've made. I've, over here is the data that I did from here. I came up here. If I want to if I want to change the title of a column, I double click on that and say um, whatever I want to say right there, uh, new time, for example. And so I can do that or I could make this time squared and put time out in here. So I did that for this before I made this graph. Then when I made this plot, um, it had those on the axes, but then I went ahead and had the axes uh i want to make sure that if we're, if we're talking about physical quantities they better have units associated with them so i have the seconds and i have that position in meters so that the slope of a linear fit here would be the velocity as a function of time if it's a line it would be a uh, constant uh velocity not as a function of time excuse me position is a function of time velocity um and so if it's not a straight line then we would have accelerated motion of, of some sort or another. So we want to figure out maybe in our experiment whether this is a straight line or not. What we're going to do here today, you know, I'm going to say I showed you before how to change these in another video, how to change these things up here. If I if I come up to, to this and I can just hit a backspace button and get rid of that. Um, and I can I could could try to do that with the, the position as well if I wanted to. Um, so anyway, um, Go ahead and get rid of it now. And so we've got that there. Look on, under the plot. You see, I, I could actually bring it back by doing that. Or I could come up here and get rid of it again by doing that. And so you see what we're doing right here. But we're really about making error bars here today. So under the plot menu, uh, we have error bars down here. So let's look at the X error. And let's say... Um, we want to make the X error some fixed value. So I could make the X error a fixed value. And so I could come over here and I say, make it a fixed value of 0.3 and say, okay. And we plot it on there. So it's X error selected, we plot it on there. And we see the X error bars across there. They look like little TIE fighters. Um, we don't like the red. Uh, so let's come back up here and let's make that error bar uh, so that would be 0.3 seconds is what we have in there. Um, so I'm going to come back up here and click, double click on that again. And I'm going to make that black. And that's going to be a lot better. But I'm going to decide that the, the uncertainty in the time isn't 0.3 seconds, but is actually a percentage of the value. And we're going to say it's 5% uh, of the value is what's in there. That's fine. And so now we'll plot that. And you'll see the error bars get larger as we move out here and the, the time measurements get 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 larger go back to the plot and go to the error bars we can change this as many times as we want to change it just collect select it again and say you know what percent of value is probably not great uh fixed value probably makes more sense for what we did uh that was our uncertainty and being able to start and stop a stopwatch or something like that so there you go uh there's your horizontal error bars to add the vertical error bars i made a data column here in kaleidograph that i called position uncertainty and I put this in here so I can actually ask it to choose this column of data to make my vertical error bars if I measure these things independently. Uh, so that's each, each has its own. It's not a fixed value. It's not a percentage of the value. It's a value that we determined some other way for the uncertainty in the X position or in whatever position that is, whatever coordinate. So I'm going to go back to my graph over here and I'm going to say, uh, let's add the vertical error bars. So if I come back up here to plot, there's error bars. Let's select Y this time. Let's just go ahead and make it black right from the start so we don't have to go back in there. There, uh, We could change the line width if we wanted to. Uh, I'm not sure that we do want to, but we could make it a thicker line that's connecting these things. And to say, you know, let's make this be a data column. And let's choose the data column. I gave it a title that would allow me to be able to see uh, what it was that I wanted to do. And so I'm going to make it be uncertainty position. Say, OK. And it's selected, so let's plot it. There they are. Uh, so now the vertical error bars are so small, you can't really see them down in here, uh, but you can see them uh, pretty well up in here. So it suggests to me that if you can't see them, maybe we want to make our data points smaller, our, our, our markers for the data down in here. 
and see if then um, see if then uh, we can actually see the error bars a little bit better. So if we wanted to do that, we would come up here and we would say display legend and click on this. Uh, I'm having trouble double clicking on that today. Um, so let's get back over here. Plot. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Update the plot to refresh it to make that. Let's just make the data points infinitely small and say are not necessarily infinitely, but now it's only error bars that you're seeing across there. You're not seeing the actual data points, which is fine. Uh, we could do a linear curve fit. That's for another time, but let's just go ahead and put it on there. And then we'll look at that and we'll say, well, maybe uh, a linear fit works pretty well right there. I, I You know, we got a, a yeah, it, it, it seems to be pretty good. Uh, we'll talk about how to try to figure out an uncertainty in that linear fit in a, in a different video and how to think about that um, as we move along there. But it does seem like this was maybe consistent with constant velocity motion just by eye, just looking at it. You know, we got this point's more than one standard deviation. If, that's, if, we, if those error bars represent standard deviations, that's more than one high. That one's more than one low. And that one's more than one low but they're pretty close. That one's actually quite a bit off, probably, except that the X error bar suggests it could actually be. It's within one X error bar of being there. Um, so anyway, uh, this, this, this likely would pass the statistical test to say this is consistent with being a linear relationship between position with time, but we'd actually have to do that test. And that's for another video at another time. This has been our error bar video uh, in Kaleidograph, hopefully it's been helpful. You could use percentages of values, you could use standard deviations, you could use columns, you could use fixed values, and we've tried these different things in here. Uh, good luck with it, everybody. We'll have more for you at a different time.